it's time to convert. Five, five, six. Today we're going to go over how to convert the MDR from one caliber to another. As you can see here, the rifle started out as a 5.56 five, and we're going to go over the process and parts needed to swap it over to a 7.62. We start by uh, clearing the gun, making sure everything is safe, pull the mag out, uh, stroke the bolt a couple times to make sure there's nothing left inside the gun. You can visually inspect as well. First thing I'm doing here is removing the handguard off the front of the rifle. Just loosen the two Torx screws and then punch the pin through. The handguard slides off the front. We'll then remove the barrel by loosening these two barrel tension screws and then uh, rotating the barrel lock 180 degrees. Make sure that you always have the barrel tension screws loose when you rotate the lock. After disengaging the bolt with the charging handles, we can swap our 5.56 barrel for the 7.62 barrel and then we'll reverse the process. Again, make sure that you turn your barrel lock first before you tighten the barrel tension screws. Now I'm going to remove the ejection chute and the ejector panel so that we can uh, further disassemble the gun to change the bolt out. We'll punch the two pins to the rear of the receiver so that we can separate the upper and lower. And then you can remove the entire bolt carrier assembly. From here it's much like an AR-15. You remove the firing pin retaining pin, the firing pin itself. Then you rotate the cam pin and it comes out as well. Then you can just pull the bolt out the front and then we'll swap it for our 762 bolt which you can identify by the extractor and then you can reverse the process as well putting in the cam pin, firing pin and lastly the firing pin retainer you can then reinstall the bolt carrier into the upper receiver here you can see the uh, two different ejection chutes we're going to put the 308 one back on since we're changing this rifle back to 762 or 308. And then the ejector goes on the opposite side there. We can now focus on the lower receiver. We'll start by removing the magazine catch. You push in and rotate it over. As you can see here, it can go up or down. At this point, you can remove the magazine well spacer there's a small clip at the front end of it and then you just push it down at the bottom so the magazine catch actually goes through the spacer which is why we had to remove it first so now we can slide the magazine catch itself off it rides on a small dovetail so you can swap it back and forth from 556 mags to 762 we can then rotate the magazine catch back into its proper position might take a little wiggling to get it to line up and now we can return the upper and lower receivers back together and put the pins back in. All that's left now is to return the handguard assembly back to the rifle, put the pin back in and tighten the two screws down. So now we're basically ready to fire the rifle. Just a few function tests to make sure everything works properly and we're ready. Okay, so now we switched it back to 7.62. Big magwell here. So there you have it guys, that's how you convert the MDR from one caliber to another. Thanks for watching.